Hey guys, Chris from Nelton Recycler. Welcome back to the channel. And we're now getting ready for the next scrap run to Melbourne. I'm keeping, I think I've done them nine or something in the last couple of months. But they're happening every Tuesday now. If you're new to the channel, hope you enjoy the ride. Uh, it's all part of my great cleanup, even though I have a separate um, playlist for the great cleanup. And the reason being, the property is sold. And as I'm filming this one, I think I have 38 days to go. It's a mammoth job and go and have a look at some of the, the videos. You'll get a, an appreciation for what I've got to do. I'm still confident. I've got a lot of people cheering me on. This is another scrap run. There's going to be more tonnage leaving the yard and I'm changing my mind. Uh, in the last scrap run, I thought we'd do a load of pressing steel, which I've got a heap lined up down my side lane here. But it has dropped back a little bit in price and I've now got a heap of electric motors ready to go and they're still paying quite well. So I think whilst the copper is paying well, let's get rid of some electric motors and the next trip we'll do the pressing steel i also need to access my shipping container and i've just sorted these motors out and i need them gone i've had these stored in 44 gallon drums for many years uh, again if you've just joined the channel i've got a second hand shop and i've been dealing here for 20 years cleaning out people's sheds doing a bit of scrapping and i haven't really sold any scrap until basically this year i think i did one load last year the first load for a long time so I've obviously got to hurry up now that the property is sold and I have to move out. So I've just been uh, unpacking some 44 gallon drums. They've been sitting there so long that the bottoms are pretty much rusted out. And I'm just putting them into crates here. I get about 30 kilos in a crate, which I've explained many times. They're easy to move. They don't roll around in the van. And I have reckon I've got about 800 kilos of electric motors here. And there's a few big ones down the yard. We'll have a look at a minute. I've also got uh, buckets of transformers in everything from the large microwave size ones down to little ones off circuit boards uh, we'll see if we can get the lid off one of these there's also some solenoids um, just any copper bearing coils i they'll probably go in with electric motors but i like to keep them separate and while i was cleaning these drums out i dragged out a heap of these yokes off the back of crt pitcher tubes um, and I'll probably get the copper out of those. There's also some wire I clipped off. There's some few heavier electric motors there. And I found some fridge refrigeration compressors. Now the scrapyards buy them, not quite as much as electric motors. Uh, but back when I started throwing these in drums, I just put them all in together, but I've separated those. And also, I think I mentioned in the last video, or one of the videos, that they actually pay a higher price for alternators and starter motors. And I ended up with... 120 kilos plus this big monster it was probably off a tractor or something so it's worth separating those as well so i reckon we're going to have probably well easily a ton maybe 1100 to 1200 kilos of electric motors and i think this scrap gun then i'll take the advantage of taking the rest of the copper wire down which i'll show you in a tick i think i've got a fair bit of that uh, I think we've got some data cable in that one and I noticed the data cable's gone up. I think it was two fifty. I think it's now three dollars a kilo. And I have some what I call mid grade wire, which is anything off uh, you know appliances, power cords or better, some heavier speaker wire. So I've got eighty kilos in there, that's hundred and sixty. There was fifty and there's two hundred and ten kilos of that, which I think is over four dollars a kilo now. Uh, might be up around 4.30. So I think we're going to get a pretty good paying load and we might even have room to put something else because I like to try and get 1,500 kilos in the van to make the trip really worthwhile. Here's some monster electric motors that have to go to. I reckon there's probably 200 kilos of motors there. Uh, and I have some large transformers in crates here. These ones are mainly uh, microwave transformers. I don't even, I just haven't got time to get the copper wire out of them at the moment. And many of you scrappers would know that half of them these days are actually aluminium wire. So I'm going to take the transformer price. Uh, they work out around about $5 each at the current price. So that's pretty good. All right, I might start loading the van up now, seeing so it's a reasonable day. And uh, we'll get ready to do a trip next Tuesday. It's the next day and it's uh, still cold, but the weather's holding. There's no wind and it's not raining. It's only about nine degrees, but probably good conditions to load the van. So I've just got the van down here with the ramp set up. I've been doing a few calculations and we had a lot more motors than I thought when I added in 
uh, the buckets and also those the pile of big meaty ones was 270 kilos so we got 1120 kilos of motors alone uh, and then if we add the starter motors and alternators it's another 146 so that makes 1266 uh, and then with the wire I found another 10 kilos for the other uh, bin so 220 and what do we say 1266 uh, it's just short of 1500 I think that's what we'll do we'll do the wire and the motors and the starters we'll leave the transformers the compressors uh, for another trip and yeah and the data cable as well I haven't included that but that'll give us a good load and it will clear out the electric motors from in front of the container uh, and when the weather when we get a reasonably fine spell of weather next I'll be opening that container. I know a lot of you are pretty keen to see in there. So am I. I honestly can't remember a lot of the stuff that's in there. So that should be fun. Good morning, guys. It's a couple of days later where uh, the van's been loaded for a few days. We're heading off to the scrapyard this morning. I've got her all loaded with the electric motors. There's quite a lot of weight in there. Uh, I'm going to have to take a large plank of wood or a ramp or something because that large cast iron motor there, I don't think I'm going to be able to lift into the bin. I think it weighs about 60 to 70 kilos. So I'll have to try and roll it up a ramp into the bin. Uh, but otherwise, we're right to go. Now, Dad's going to come with me for a drive. Mum and Dad are visiting for a couple of days. So uh, we'll be taking off shortly. Okay, we're off to uh, Melbourne. It's a cold, chilly, fresh day. I think it's about 8 degrees. Dad's with me. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, so we've got a fair bit of weight on. I'm not sure. Hang on, I've got to wait for a car. I'm not sure, I don't think we're very much over a 15, um, but I did have to, um, oh, we've got a few extra supplies and Dad's with me, not that you weigh a lot. What'd you say, 60 kilos? 60 kilos. And if you throw your leg out the window, you'll be even less. <laughs> for, the, for many of you who wouldn't know, Dad's got a prosthetic leg, so. Mm. But anyway, we're uh, off and hopefully we'll have a good drive. We'll see you down there. Well, I've got down here quite well, but the yard is absolutely packed. There are trucks and cars everywhere. It's quite windy. It's noisy as usual. Uh, and I'm just waiting for a tub to start unloading our motors. But uh, yeah, we might have a bit of a wait, it looks. Now come down, here's Dad. Wave, wave. We've come down Monday, in case I didn't mention it, instead of Tuesday. So um, maybe Monday is a bit busier. Okay, we left the big monster till the end so that we've unloaded most of the stuff as you can see The bin's pretty chockers and it's lifted the back of the van a bit. We brought this plank down Hang on dad. I'll give you a hand. We're gonna slide it up the plank because we can't lift it even together Okay, you're right with it. Don't hurt your back. Look at that Beautiful. You can't hold an 83 year old farmer down. That's awesome All unloaded now. Here's all the insulated wire um, I forget the figures now, but hopefully we get enough to get around about two grand load again. But it was a bit slower this morning. The yard's extremely busy. Now a quick look at the figures. We had around about what I expected on the weights. 11.59 kilos for electric motors. 159, I think I was saying 160, so close enough for the starter motors and alternators. So you can see there's a pretty good price difference there. Those four crates of alternators and starter motors are $262, 1274 with the motors, and 930 for the wire. So that's excellent. 2468, another successful load. I must thank Dad for lifting all the heavy motors. <laughs> what a team. Let's hit the road. Okay, we're home again, guys. Another good successful trip to Melbourne. A bit late back today. Uh, we did have to swing via Bunnings to pick up some insulation for the shed roof at home. The builders there has been doing a great job. If you don't know what Bunnings is, it's like Home Depot. It's a big hardware store uh, for all your building supplies. So my builder's doing a great job at home. He's already got the frame up. I'll, go and, I'll film an episode on that and put it under my shed extension or shed projects playlist, whatever I've called it. Um, so we swung by there to get that in the way home. But it was a good trip, a what nice paying trip. Let's have a look at our figures. We have now done 10 loads of scrap metal out of this yard. One was last year and someone asked me in a recent video in the comments uh, whether I would be cashing in with high prices now if I didn't have to move. And yes, I was starting to. That March last year trip, 
uh, which I had massive weight on the van. I overloaded it a bit then. Um, I was planning to do a trip relatively re regularly, maybe one every couple of months to cash in while the prices was good. But now, of course, this year, we've really upped the ante. So we've now done about 10 trips. We've taken a total of just short of 16 tonne out of the yard, and we've just clicked over $23,000. So that's pretty awesome. And so that ends another scrap run. Thanks for coming along again. Next scrap run, early next week, Monday, Tuesday. I think I'll do Tuesdays. Mondays, the yard was just crazy busy, and there was a lot of Manhari trucks there. So I expect Monday might be the day when they do a lot of their own between yards uh, transport. So I think we'll go Tuesday morning. It was much easier. Uh, we did discuss maybe doing a second load this week and getting rid of some pressing steel, but just depends what the weather's going to be like. If it's nice, I really should spend time in the yard getting the rest of the yard cleaned up. If it's showery and cold, well, maybe we might squeeze an extra load in. Whatever the case, you guys will come with me. Thanks for all your support. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.